everyone, this is Rachel and I'm here sharing my August 2016 Scrap Room Double Shot Kits uh, along with the things I chose from my stash to go along with them to create a slightly larger kit. Now, the first line up is Magical Adventure from Echo Park and this is their Disney themed one without using Disney licensed pictures, okay? I did pull some photos from my stash for this. For those of you who've been a part of my channel for a while now, you do know I have a 2012 Disney trip that I'm using Simple Stories, Say Cheese and Say Cheese 2 to make an album using uh, those lines. I do have two layouts to go in that. I know it's so sad that I haven't managed to finish it. I will be finishing that up hopefully within the next couple of months or so. Uh, and then what you might not know is that I actually have an earlier trip that I'm trying to scrapbook from 2006. 2005 or 2006, one or the other, I'm not totally sure off the top of my head. And that one, I did not use one line. I just used different papers for each layout. So I thought I would go back. And I also have a couple of cruise photos that I thought I might be able to use as too. So first, let me show you what comes in my kit. The way. Okay, I get a third of a pack of enamel dots from the line. I get a sheet of element stickers. And now here are the papers. I get this one with these cameras. How cute are these? And then polka dots on the back. And this one is called Making Memories. And then this diagonal stripe, which is gorgeous. And the back of that is a black and white polka dot called Silly Stripes. And finally, for pattern paper, we have this one with all of the banners. And the other side is another polka dot, and this one is called Festive Banners. Okay, and now we come to my cardstock. And I get two pieces of white cardstock and then one piece of this red. Now, last month I got a piece of red cardstock too, but it is a completely different red. This one is definitely more on the orange side, whereas last month's was very much a true, true red. Okay, and now what I've picked to go along with it. So I have these black glitter jelly bean soup chipboard alphas. Now, I bought a whole bunch of these. I think they're really cute, and I almost never remember to use them, so I wanted to pull these out especially. I don't normally pull out alphas because they sit, like, right here. I have a 31 bags fold and file, or file and fold, whatever it's called, and that is filled with all of my thickers and my 6x12 alphabet stickers. And so they're right within hand, uh, arm's reach, so I don't usually feel the need to pull those into my kits that I make. All right, next we have these Evilicious Puffy Stickers. Now, not every sticker on here is going to match with the kit I have, but I thought several of them would go, so I wanted to pull those out. I also pulled out several packs of my die cuts that I have separated by color. So I pulled out my black and white. And I know you're, you're seeing an orange one there. On the opposite side, it's black and white. And I always, if something has two sides to it, I always choose a side I think I'm most likely to actually use. I pulled out yellow and I pulled out red, okay? I also pulled out this shimmer trim from Close to My Heart. And I thought that would be cute with all the Disney-ish stuff. And then I have these epoxy stickers from Fruggle Fawn, and they've got a lot of blues, reds, and yellows, so I thought that would go well. And I know I did get enamel dots, but if you watch my channel, you know I use a lot of enamel dots, so I like to give myself some more options. So I pulled these black, white, and gray ones, and those are just from Hobby Lobby. And then I pulled out these gray ones as well, and these are from the Islet Outlet. I got it at a CKC. And then these also are from it, and these are black matte, so they're not shiny like the other enamel dots. All right. I also pulled uh, these enamel hearts from Bella Boulevard Illustrated Faith She Bloom mix. There's a long title for you. So because of the red and the blue, I thought that would go well. 
And then I also went a little old school and I pulled out this chipboard fun shape. I thought I might be able to use this. I've been cleaning out a lot of stuff and I found this and I was like, you know what, this is really cute. I actually still like this. So pull it out, see if I can use it. And now I've got my little container of bits and pieces. I pulled out these stitchable tags from Amy Tangerine. And then I have this chipboard frame. And then I have some wood veneer pieces. This one that says travel often. This one that says love this. And then I have a bunch of arrows. And then I also pulled some flare. Uh, let's go on an adventure. And then a blue one, a red one, and then a multicolored one. And then I have this acrylic camera with a heart in it. And that is everything for this part of the kit. I'm going to pause the camera and be right back with my second part. Okay, so here I am back with my second part of my double shot kit. This is the We Are Memory Keepers Honey I'm Home line. And I think I may have gotten a piece or two of this in a Scraptastic kit. It's not a super brand new release, but it is, uh, yeah, so it looks like, I think this was fall of 2015, but that's totally fine by me. I didn't really have a lot of this, so I'm good to go. All right, let's start off with, oh, let's start off with the embellishments I got. You get half a pack of puffy stickers, and obviously it depends on what they give you. So I got this, very cute. And then you get half a pack of wood veneer. And so we have family fun, this is our life, hanging with the fam, a clothespin. I don't know if I'll be able to use that one, I'll be totally honest, we'll see. A heart, some floral, so very happy, and this super cute frame. I like that a lot. Okay, so that is what I got for embellishments with my kit. Whoopsie. side for now okay so now the papers so we have this one with this beautiful chevron and I don't know if you can see it on the video but it's actually uh, colored over like a wood grain so it's not solid it has variations through it with uh, a wood pattern and this back end are these um, I think they're supposed to be houses, but you could totally do it like this way and have them be banners which would be cute and this one is called neighborhood and then we have this one called Moments with the floral on this side. And this side also has a wood grain pattern on the back and it's pink with little white dots. This one's really cute. Not that the floral isn't cute, the floral is cute as well. And this one is called Love and Laughter and I think this is the piece I had before because I think I used this on a page somewhere. And the other side is a tone on tone pink polka dot. Very cute. And now for the cardstock. Wow, I forgot the word cardstock. We have one piece of white cardstock and then two pieces of slate. I don't know how it's going to read on the video. It is a very dark gray, which is one of my favorite neutrals. So I was super happy about that. And now what I chose from my stash to go with it, I chose these transparency and die cut pack that I have. This is Heidi Swap September Skies. And it had the same, it has navy and the pink and the bright green. So I thought that would go really well. And it's a lot of floral pieces. So I also thought that would go very well. And then we have these Mombi chips. And these are a lot of pinks and blues and greens and golds and silvers. These are nice because they're chipboard, but they're a very thin chipboard and they are, are, they are self-adhesive. I almost always add adhesive to the chipboard even if it is self-adhesive because I find it doesn't like to stick even though it's supposed to. Okay, and then we have some more of the Jelly Bean Soup chipboard alphas, this time in a gray. And... I did pull a couple of Project Lifestyle cards by Ellie Studio. I thought these might be able to be used. I didn't know. I just like to pull things just in case I want to use them. I also pulled these Maggie Holmes 
word and phrase stickers. I thought those might work well. Can't do without my enamel dots. These happen to be from Simple Stories, the You Are Here line. And I pulled this little washi booklet from Seven Paper. Uh, I used almost all of the front one, but let me just show you if I can. It has pinks and florals and blues and greens, so I thought that might work well. I don't always use everything I pull. Sometimes the photos I end up using don't work well with what I ended up pulling, so it's just a matter of what's gonna happen. And then I pulled this Just Add Color sticker sheet, alpha and element stickers from Bella Boulevard. I thought the colors went well with the navy and some of the greens and pinks. And then I do have my little container and this just has a couple of flares and then some wood veneer. Okay, so that is it for my double shot kit for August 2016 from the Scrap Room. I will be getting started working on some layouts with this and I will hopefully have some for you soon. Have a great day everyone. Bye!